Hello dear friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be discussing that result that if my A is a 2 cross 2 real matrix such that my A square is 0, then either my matrix is a 0 matrix or it is similar to a triangular matrix 0, 1, 0, 0. Let's try to prove this result. The things that we know is my A square is 0. That means the polynomial Px equal to x square annihilate the matrix. And if any polynomial annihilate the matrix, then my minimal polynomial of A will divide this polynomial P. Therefore, the choice for the minimal polynomial of A in terms of x in this case would be either it could be x or it could be x square. Right? So what we are going to do is we are going to create two cases. If my minimal polynomial of A in terms of x is equal to x, then what happens? Then my m a a must be 0 because minimal polynomial annihilates what is m a a on the place of x I'll write a so it is a equal to 0 hence the first pass is proved that is my a could be a 0 matrix right so in case 1 we got the first thing let's think of the case 2 In case 2, if my minimal polynomial of A in terms of x is x square, when I say the minimal polynomial of A in terms of x is x square, I mean that my A square is 0 and my A cannot be 0. Correct? Because if A is equal to 0, then this is the minimal polynomial, which I am not saying now. I am saying my minimal polynomial is x square. So my matrix itself is not 0 but its square is 0. Okay. So I have A is a 2 cross 2 matrix. Right. So we know that any matrix, any square matrix is similar to an upper triangular matrix. So we have the result that every square matrix is similar to an upper triangular matrix. So that means whatever is my A, A would be similar to some upper triangular matrix, let it be A, B, 0, C. Right? And also we know that my A square is 0. That means what? If my a square, if my matrix a square is 0, that means the square of this must be also 0. So if I do the square of it, I just go below. I just do the square of it. So it is like uh, a, b, 0, c, a, b, 0, c and it is nothing but the 0 matrix. So it is nothing but 0, 0, 0, 0. If I multiply this two matrix, it is A square. It is uh, A times uh, B plus B times C, 0 and C square. And everything is nothing but 0, 0, 0, 0. So if I compare two matrix, I get my A square is 0. And my C square is also 0. And when it could be 0? Therefore, I found my A is 0 and my C is also 0. Therefore, my A is similar to what? I found A is 0 and C is 0. So, it is 0, B, 0, 0. Now, since my matrix, now since my matrix A is not equal to 0, in this case, my B cannot be 0. 
we wanted to prove my matrix a is similar to this what we found we found it is 0 b 0 0 so what we need to prove now we need to prove 0 b 0 0 is similar to 0 1 0 0 and to prove that we need to find out a matrix p such that this matrix 0 b 0 0 can be written as p 0 1 0 0 p inverse right so now the task is to find out what is this matrix p which satisfies these conditions right i just give you this matrix p it would be your task to verify whether it satisfies or not it is b 0 0 1 just try to substitute this P on this place and find out the P inverse and substitute it over here and just check whether it is true. If it is true, that means my 0B00 is similar to 0100. Hence, ultimately, what we get is my matrix A becomes similar to 0100. Okay. If you understood the proof, let me know in the comment section if you have any doubt also. Okay. Thank you.